Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Tarot Love Read. My name is Morty, and I'm excited to have all of you here. Today is January 29th, and it's about 2.36 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And we're going to do a love read. I'm excited to do it for you. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pull an affirmation card just to see which affirmation somebody may need to hear taking us into today's read. Interesting cut. All right. It's harvest time. Right. This was yesterday's affirmation in the affirmation reading, right? Harvest, 43. So still harvest time out there for somebody, right? It's a good time. All right, a little bit of small writing here. I need my glasses on this one. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. It's beautiful. So, harvest time, right? Harvest time out there for somebody. Somebody who's been manifesting working to create something in your life, right? To bring something into it. And now you're asking, right, that all your efforts, right, the, the energy that you've vested, right, that it bring you to harvest, that whatever, whatever it is you've been trying to create and manifest in your life, you're now asking for it to come in. You're ready to receive your harvest. It's beautiful. Okay, let's get started on this tarot reading. I'm curious to see how today's affirmation would fit in today's, to today's tarot reading. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is, I pre-shuffled the decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. And then I like to cut the deck three times, and I like to pull the bottom card to see what the opening energy is taking us into the read. And today, the opening energy is the chariot. It's the card of cancer, right? So some of you may be in a relationship with a cancer. Um, what this energy and this card represents, right? If you look at the chariot or on the horse, she's being pulled by a white and a black horse. The white and the black horse, they represent duality, right? The yin, the yang, the masculine, the feminine, right? Two opposing dichotomies, right? Trying to cooperate and run together. I don't know, they're doing a pretty good job running side by side. I mean, the chair, she seems pretty confident with it because she's just, she's hanging on to it with just one hand. I mean, she's got eagles flying above her head, right? Giving her guidance and direction. I don't know. I feel like somebody knows where they're going, right? You've been being guided. Possibly divinely guided. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, beautiful. What a great card. We have the Sun card now, right? The card of Leo. Some of you may be in a relationship with Leo. Or perhaps you're a Leo, or maybe you're a Cancer. Um, but this is a beautiful energy, right, for anybody, male, female, husband, wife, mother, child. Uh, every, anybody likes this energy, right? Um, like the figure in the card, she's in this field of sunflowers, right? She's surrounded by beauty. She has her white horse behind her, right, Rep representing purity. She's holding her baby up against her chest. She has the warmth of the sun, right, beating on her back, keeping them both warm. It represents the energy of childlike enthusiasm, right? Living life like that, right? Carefree, 
This is living life without fear. I mean, that's really how you best define childlike enthusiasm. Because when we were kids, it was before fear and nose had a chance to really sink in with us, right? When we just felt like things were limitless. It's that kind of energy. It's great energy. the five of wands so the five of wands this can be a pretty limiting energy right it can represent the energy of people arguing right disagreeing I mean you have two lions fighting and three guys with sticks fighting I and mean, they're all fighting right but nobody's really out to hurt or maim the other um, yeah but nonetheless it's a limiting energy right it's a disconnect Tell me more. Okay, we now have the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> so the Eight of Swords, this is a limiting energy. Represents the energy of being bound by fear, right? It's all self-induced, right? There's fears in our head. Just like the figure here in the card, right? She looks like she's tied off by all these ropes. Ravens holding her off, surrounded by swords in the ground. There are places for her to escape right and her binds are actually pretty loose she could break free at any time but she needs to choose to do that right and in order to choose to do that the first thing she should probably do is choose to take off that blindfold so she can see around her right and see that there's truly nothing to be afraid of nothing to fear nothing to worry We now have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, this would be an Earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, queen, so female energy, but it doesn't have to be. Again, it's just the energy that it represents. Who is the Queen of Pentacles, right? She's lived life, right? She's experienced. She's tasted of life. Tasted of life's triumphs. She's tasted of life's failures experienced the agony of defeat right and she's overcome all of those still here still with us and she knows her place great at paying attention to details right she sits at her ancient tree throne knowing of her sense of assuredness it's a great energy so some of you may be in a relationship with an earth sign We now have the Hermit card, which is also the card of Virgo. Um, so some of you may be in a relationship with a Virgo. What this energy represents is just like the figure here in the card, right? Sitting on top on the edge of this of this mountain, right? Overlooking all of the other mountains surrounding them. Representing the universe, right? What does the Hermit do? The Hermit steps back, right? Steps away from life and distractions in life and goes inward going inward and asking themselves some of the more difficult questions in life right? meaning of life purpose direction guides what what is it that I truly want what is it that I desire most okay we now have temperance which is the card of Sagittarius so some of you could be in a relationship with the Sagittarius. I mean, we're getting a lot of zodiac signs on here. So a lot of different messages. Um, this represents divine timing. This is coming in under the sun. So what it tells me, right? It tells me that for this couple here, that this read is about, that the universe is behind the two of you getting together. Um, the figure here in the card, she pours a cup of water into a cup of fire. 
it should just put the fire out and extinguish it, but it doesn't. It creates this beautiful rainbow, right? It's because it's divinely orchestrated. It's, it's just that perfect mix of timing and balance. Meaning, the universe is possibly doing some orchestrating here, right? Okay, now we have the Five of Pentacles, right? The Five of Pentacles is coming in under the Five of Wands. Um, what that tells me is, is that this could be twin flame energy, right? We have mirroring energies here, fives and fives. This represents the energy, it's a limiting energy. It's the energy of feeling like you're left out in the cold, right? Just like the mother and child here. I mean, they have one another, so spiritually they're wealthy. But it's a limiting energy nonetheless. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. This represents the energy of walking away, right? Walking away from a person, place, or thing. And walking away from things isn't always easy, right? There's some reluctance there, some sadness, some grief. This is coming in under the Eight of Swords, right? So again, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. I think we're, we're, we're connected to some twin flame energy here. Okay, now we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, this can be a, this can be a pretty limiting energy, right? Like the figure here in the card, he's bending down to pick up these two swords on the ground in front of him. In the meantime, his other five swords are flying all around him, right? So it can represent the energy of maybe coming, going into something a little unprepared. Um, whatever it is, whatever this represents to you in your life, right? Um, whatever form of resistance you're you're getting right this battle I don't want to say it's a battle or a fight because it's really not um, but it's resistance whatever that is is telling you to disengage from it right to pick up and walk away it doesn't matter who won or lost that's coming in under the Queen of Pentacles Beautiful. We now have the Empress. And this, guys, this is a fantastic energy, right? Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Any of us love to have this energy in our life. It's the energy of unconditional love, right? All nourishing. She's the all unconditional loving Earth Mother. The mother of all things earthly, right? She's, she has a foot in the water, a foot on dry ground, represent, dry ground representing balance very balanced surrounded by butterflies right representing rebirth if you look at it up close you see she's with child right so some of you may be experiencing pregnancy and that's coming in under the hermit energy taking us out of the reed today the knight of pentacles so earth sign right? taurus virgo capricorn the knight of pentacles some say he's the least romantic of the knights it's arguable um but he's not in any hurry right he's taking his time he's the most reliable of all the knights right knights are energies that you can count on showing up some of them rush in, right? Some of them really come in, you know, making a major, bold statement, making quite an entrance. Not this night. This night, he has this quiet confidence to him. 
sits upright on his horse. He has no weapons. He doesn't need them. He comes in peace. What does he bring? He brings love, right? He brings security, stability. It's that kind of energy, right? Okay, um, give me just a second here to take a look at the, I wanna see the cards all laid out, like in the spread, so I can kind of feel what they're trying to tell me and I can share the read with you. taking us into today's read is harvest right so clearly somebody out there right somebody's trying to manifest you've been manifesting putting energy in something for quite some time and now it's time for you to receive whatever it is you've been putting your energy into you begin with the cancer card right the card of the chariot right letting you know your course is the correct course right stay on course it's taking you where you need to go you're being divinely guided by these eagles up here, right? Follow and trust your feeling, trust your intuition. Steering you on the right path. This path that you're on, right? Where's it taking you? It's taking you to the energy of the sun, right? This energy of childlike enthusiasm, of just living life so freely and clearly. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, I can kind of feel it right now. It makes me excited for you, you know, and it's all being divinely orchestrated, right? The universe has a stake in this. So now we have a five and a five, right? This is kind of where I'm beginning to pick up on maybe some twin flame energy. So we have the five of pentacles, right? The energy of feeling like you're left out in the cold. Right? Whatever has happened, there's been some arguing and some fighting, right? Some disconnecting communication. Leaving. Energies feeling like they're left out in the cold. Limiting energies. Feeling bound by fear. Bound by fear. This, again, twin flame energy, eight and eight. You know, bound by fear, right? It, something that somebody has to walk away from. Yeah, give me just a sec. So whatever energies, right, that you're, you may be feeling in your life right now that are limiting energies, wherever you may be feeling some, some form of resistance, um, you know, where you're, you're following your intuition, you're trusting your intuition, um, but every now and then you just, you're, you're dealing with some resistance. Right? You're being encouraged to disengage from that. Disengage from that resistance. Change your thinking, right? Seek this stability, right? This security. This queen of pentacles energy. She knows her place. It's comforting. It's loving. It's warm. Then we have the Hermit card and the Empress, right? So some of you may be in a relationship with a Virgo. 
Some of you may be taking time to step away from life and many of life's distractions, right? And taking ourselves into this hermit energy, right? Of going inward, getting quiet, asking ourselves the hardest questions, seeking truth, right? Seeking wisdom. Where does it give us? What, what does it do for us? What does it do when we seek the energy of the hermit? It brings us the energy of the empress. Unconditionally loving, nourishing energy. It's beautiful. The harvest, right? For many of you, right, this harvest is found in this Knight of Pentacles, right? The energy coming into your environment. Could be an art sign, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But this is what many of you have been manifesting. Or manifesting what this represents to you in your life, right? It represents stability, security, completion, right? Wholeness. It's beautiful. And I don't know. I mean, anytime this card comes up, right? I always have a sense that it's guaranteed to show up, right? The most reliable of the nights, but the slowest moving. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with today's read. Um, thank you so much for all the comments, the likes and subscribes and shares. Um, I love them. You know, I, I appreciate them. I love to learn about how many of you are receiving these reads, right? How they're resonating with you and how you're connecting with the messages. I love to hear that. Um, thank you for all of you who have contributed and donated towards the channel. I mean, honestly, you guys are what makes it possible for me to be able to do this, right? To have this channel and take time to do this. Um, and thank all of you who have ordered personal reads. This is a general read. And if you're interested in having a personal read done, in the description below, just send me an email. Um, it's easy for me to set that up with you, and you'll have a 30-minute read that's for you specifically. Um, I just send you a private link for that. So, it makes things a lot more interesting. If you haven't done a personal read, I encourage you to do it, right? If you're just a little bit interested, try it out. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day.